All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome. Welcome to a game between Thunder and TBC BM. This game taking place here on Last Refuge. Yay, another game worked. So glad it is working as we are now getting underway. Over here on the top right hand side of the map, we have Thunder spawning as the red human. Do the population tabs work? No, they do not because there are observers. Meanwhile, over here on the bottom left, we have TBC BM spawning as the blue undead. This is all from uh, the Warcraft League, uh, what? Warcraft Gold League April qualifiers. So glad that there are just constant, constant games to be played and to be had here as things are getting underway. Tomb of Relics, Ziggurat, Altar of Darkness, Crypt all coming online. Meanwhile, over here on the top right hand side of the map, we are looking at a pretty standard build as well. Barracks, Double Farm, Altar of Kings. And what hero will we be looking for? It is going to be a blood mage first. All right, my, my brain is trying to formulate plans. What exactly is Thunder thinking in this particular matchup? Now, um, one of the reasons why I like uh, why I like tournament play as opposed to ladder play is Thunder knows that he's going to be going up against TBCBM in this game. So he is probably uh, in order to go for something as daring and unorthodox as a blood mage first he has to have a very specific plan or strategy um what that plan is uh i don't know um, i'm trying to extrapolate what he could possibly be trying to do here um flame strike doesn't seem like the viable option siphon mana is obviously very useful but um, having extra mana and nothing to do with this do do with it is, is just kind of strange as well we can see a quick banish on that forest troll trapper right there ogre warrior gonna get taken down only one footman here so was there a no there wasn't a delay one footman also used to scout out all right blood mage picks up a ring of protection plus two i'm pretty sure he would have liked a claws of attack plus six instead but the blood mage will now be making its rounds out okay we're gonna see well the death knight sees wait a second there's a blood mage um what what, what do i do against a blood mage i he, he doesn't know. The Death Knight is just like, I, I really don't know what to do against a, 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 blood, a blood mage. Do I death coil things? Do I, um, how do I use my mana? How do I even, what, what do I do to in, engage and, and cause problems and disrupt? My, my whole entire strategy was to disrupt my opponent's creeping. And well, there's really not that much creeping going on right now. All right, they're going to take a look. Death Knight now shows up here. Death Knight taking a large amount of damage. This is a large number of footmen as well, as we could be looking at, well, a skeletal minion getting, well, footman now needs to get away. That footman, what is it doing? It's going to end up getting taken down. And, well, if that if there is an actual death right there, that is going to be a big, big deal. Exactly what the undead ordered. TBC, um, that's what he wants right there. More damage coming through. He's going to go ahead and aggro some more creeps. There's a couple of ensnares as well. And he knows that he is well, naturally ensnared, protected. Footman going to go ahead and hide over here by the death knight. Uh, or behind here. Oh, are you going to aggro the creeps? Yes, there he goes. Wakes up the creeps. Now trying to run away and going to get taken down anyways by those units. Doesn't need the experience. Death Knight down to 195 hit points. Still wandering around off to the north as we see a blood mage. Well, protecting um, some units as well. And and you can see he's actually putting pressure there. Siphon mana now or, uh, perhaps available as the Death Knight now down to 82, 62 some odd hit points. This is really strange as the blood mage going to go ahead and finish off that creep camp there the death knight says you know what i can't stay around in this fight all right so far my head is still um my head is still trying to understand the game that i am watching blood mage sitting at level um, two right now you're going to see the forest troll high priest um uh, uh, figuring out what to do next wand of illusion plus three there's a quick scythe or a uh, quick banish are we going to see a, a unit surround here on the on this unit here no the crypt fiend able to actually break free uh, let's take a look at this oh the creeps actually moving a bit too far and now this one crypt fiend could end up getting taken down i believe it is going to end up taking down right oh come on one more shot what the blood mage 
um, not sure death coil um, a, a little bit uh, a little bit preemptive trying to jump the gun there siphon mana death knight now being forced to retreat back let's take a look this footman gonna get taken down there's another death coil there it goes so trading uh, script fiends uh, and skeletal minions for footmen a, a, a decent enough trade as we're also seeing skeletal minions inside the base here all right no arcane tower units trying to make their way back we are going to get one scout tower off over here blood mage gets up to level three now and those claws of attack plus six well gonna help finish off those skeletal minions too uh this is this is going rather unorthodox is is tbcbm getting cheesed and well or or is the cheese just going to be too pungent for thunder a player's forces are under attack okay all right Let's go ahead and make our way ways through again. Our, is the Blood Mage Illusions going to make our way inside the base here and, well, and try to get in some damage and absorb some of that damage? Oh, there's a Flame Strike. All right, so it is a, fl a Flame Strike strategy and then Siphon Mana to get more mana back. Um, it might be... Is Are we going to see that again? This is... Um, I've never seen this particular strategy being used to try and clear out this creep camp here. Are we going to see more siphon mana? Yes, we are. And the blood mage is just saying uh, thank you for all the fish right now as he is just getting maximum mana still. All right, sitting at 205 right now. Is it going to try to get the remaining? It is not. It is, I guess, level one banish level. Oh, Frost Nova coming across here. This could be very bad news. Siphon mana from the Lich. Lich trying to get away now. Lich now down to 121 mana. And is he going to be able to get off another Frost Nova here? More Siphon mana. De Footman trying to get away down to 61 hit points. It's a death coil. It's going to get taken down. As the uh, Lich trying to get reunited with the rest of his party. All right, more damage coming through. Death Knight. Is it, well, going to try and get off any more death coils? Blood Mage trying to retreat back off the north footman joining up to the party saying asked what i missed and then see that the undead were invited siphon mana continuing to be used by that death knight death coil uh, while trying to shake some of that mana off as the footmen are now trying to get away more damage coming across again as the skeletal minions just so many of them causing so many problems more footmen wanting to be part of the party only to know that they are not liked by the current party guests and could end up getting taken down again all right there's a flame strike right there do you want to travel through the fire and flames to get your footmen and it looks like that is a resounding yes right there as the lich now travels back blood mage sitting at level three and it this is a, a situation where all of the footmen are just constantly falling and constantly getting killed this is not what you want to be seeing as you're just going to end up seeing more and more high level heroes once the death knight and the lich both get to level three a lot of problems will be had skeletal minions making their way inside the base to try and harass again there's a siphon mana once more to finish off multiple units damage getting added in even the footman taking a little bit of that damage over time all right blood mage picks up a wand of illusion gonna finish off the remainder of the forest troll trappers even almost taking down this null hut in the back all right death knight and lich making its way back out across lich has an orb of corruption we're gonna see well perhaps another engagement here blood mage wants to get to level four but is gonna be denied just that finishing off a murloc tide runner there it goes there's level four and with that the death knight now trying to retreat back we're gonna see another death of a footman i believe one more shot oh gosh try oh no blood mage it does deny it so we may be looking at well are we gonna see another d come on oh nope does not deny there if it looks like thunder is actually playing with a little bit of lag he's tried to uh, he's tried to cancel his attack mid and or mid animation while that ball or that little orb or whatever it is that that blood mage attacks with but it's just ended up stopping the attack overall paladin now out onto the field we are going to be looking at well mass skeletal or mass ghouls coming in destroyer also joining in on the fight here and the destroyers are going to have an absolute field day skeletal minions trying to join in on the fight rifleman coming across two more riflemen fighting in as well and there it goes three riflemen right in that position militia fighting in here and this is a strange spot to be in in comes an obsidian statue it could just get focused down very very quickly no trying to get backed out all right flame strike on your own buildings that is a new strategy coming in from thunder we'll see if it works out as more units are still getting attacked here all right skeletal minions more units getting get fought fought in once again death knight gonna try and engage footmen are gonna well, dive on through here as well as the ghouls are gonna finish off many of those footmen again riflemen gonna get into the position are we gonna see a f death of a crypt fiend one holy light could actually if there was focus fire could have worked 
Blood Mage Paladin, level 4 Blood Mage here. And we're going to look at the Blood Mage, perhaps head up to the high ground using another Wand of Illusion to try and absorb some of that damage again. All right, there's that Flame Strike trying to get them all corralled into a nice location. No Siphon Mana. Um, and that does surprise me. Why not have Siphon Mana right now? We are looking at another Barracks off over here. That's the reason why the Rifleman count is so high as the Blood Mage, well, doesn't have mana. You, you took out a Forest Troll High Priest and you took out an Ogre Magi and you didn't get any mana for it. Thunder, what are you thinking at this point? As we now see some healing wards. All right, Ogre Magi now absorb, uh, losing all of that precious mana. There's a healing ward in the back. Blood Mage wants every bit of that mana and was probably going to continue to do... Nope, Riflemen are there to, um, well, uh, finish it off. All right, Blood Mage continuing to get healed. Footman is okay. Tome of Strength plus two on that Paladin. As we could see an engagement there. Oh, Destroyer taking a little bit of damage. A quick volley of Riflemen. Um, well, trying to shoo it away. All right, no upgrades whatsoever. 62 over 66 supply. We are getting for, uh, the improved masonry upgrade as well. As we are going to look at the Blood Mage now show up to the party. All right, are we going to perhaps see a Banish or anything? There is a Flame Strike, and all of those units are going to travel straight through it. Are we going to see... Oh, wow, that Crypt Fiend would have been taken down. Beautifully done, nicely done, as the Overlord going to end up falling here. All right, trying to just try to get into the proper position. There goes a Footman um, what low on hit points as the Blood Mage says, Thank you for all the mana once again. All right, units still falling around here. Overlord getting in another shockwave again. It looks like a healing ward will be dropped to try and save some of those units. Siphon mana once more, but a death coil st steals the experience. Um, I believe it stole the experience. Death Knight, Lich, and Dark Ranger look like they have a little bit more, but I couldn't really tell. I know the Paladin get, did get the Endurance Aura, though. So 5% attack speed increase, 10% movement speed increase as the units are going to try and engage again. Riflemen are all in position. Oh, Flame strike is it going to cause problems a little bit of damage to some of those units lich losing some precious precious mana once again but without a mountain king to storm bolt the lich to make him stay in place and force an engagement it's not going to really work ghouls run on inside and saying i'm going to have a party taking down all of these um, units little they realize that guard towers were already there workshop most likely going to get destroyed or canceled here in just a second and what well, the peasant going to go ahead and try and um, well, retreat back out again there are uh, more workshops trying to be built off to the side. Meanwhile, an illusionary blood mage going to go ahead and see there is no expansion. He is currently fine as the units are now making their way and their rounds again. All right, trying to aggro. Oh, could have aggroed the creeps. Paladin, what is going on here? Paladin wants to get to level three. And this army, if they're going to try and attack this fortified location, is actually rather strange. In, in comes Siphon Mana. Oh, could have a problem. Blood mage. Oh, Holy Light saving it right there. Level 2 Holy Light saving a big item there. And meanwhile, oh, the Forest Trolls actually taking down that healing ward. That was a big loss right there for Thunder. Thunder could have had more hit points on the Paladin and that Blood Mage without having to use a Holy Light. We'll see if that comes back to affect the overall outcome of the game. Coming back over here, units now trying to make their way across. It looked like there was something happening, but didn't see anything really going on. Blood Mage or Paladin. Um, now, Blood Mage now at 5, and the Paladin is currently sitting at 3. All right, making its way out across here. Ogre Magi, Death Knight, 3-2-2. Three, two, two. Death Knight not even close to 4 yet. Lich will get to level 3 here, and double Gloves of Haste may be the saving grace right there to apply that Orb of Corruption debuff. Meanwhile, Blood Mage is currently invisible. Does he have a Staff of Teleportation? Yes, he does. What does this mean? It most likely means a flame strike right here to try and finish off all of those units. There you go. Get some damage and all the acolytes are dead, folks. All of a sudden, TBCBM is running on zero mana or zero income. Staff of Teleportation could try and teleport back out here. Meanwhile, unit's going to try and engage. And Dark Ranger going to go ahead and teleport back home. Rifleman trying to retreat again. Does TBCBM realize what happened? There's another Flame Strike going down. And with a Potion of Lesser Invulnerability, could still deal a lot of damage. Another Flame Strike coming through. And the Gold Mine could get taken down. The gold mine, if it is lost, all of a sudden things change. Staff of Teleportation should be used right now in order to get back to part of the fight and here, ready to go. Death Knight, well, Blood Mage is right there. No Death Coil at all. And it is a two base versus zero base. 
um, a strategy right now. Riflemen, while purposely fighting next to these guard towers, TBC BM perhaps realizing the, that he has to fight with what he has. The game cannot go long for him as it's 14 gold a second versus zero. Rees haunting that gold mine right now, trying to retrain up Acolytes. All of that is going to be a major, major delay as the Blood Mage now trying to retreat back. However, there are a large number of abominations in the front line causing problems and for those riflemen as the paladin just walks up to the front and says hey what's going on guys rifleman is going to be able to rejoin in on the fight here there is another flame strike blood mage siphon mana away from that lich lich being forced to retreat again blood mage holding holding the door as well as he can as more siphon ma or wanna mana stealing used there all right scroll of regeneration perhaps going to be used um, well, no, Vampiric Aura. The unit's going to try and engage. Guard towers are all in position. Immolation, um, immolation also from the Cloak of Flames on that Death Knight, but the Death Knight has not been able to get inside there either. Siege Engines now making their way over, perhaps trying to get some damage onto that Haunted gold mine. That is not going to work as a Rifleman who was, hey, I'm fully healthy after a Staff of Sanctuary walks back into the Line of Fire. All right, Blood Mage, Scroll of Town Portal used at just the right moment. There was a Cyclone on the Paladin. Where are all of the units going to be going? There goes the the blood mage blood mage is going to heal yes he does he uses a potion of greater healing right there and we should be looking at some scrolls of regeneration as well a paladin currently in trouble low on mana arcane vault taking damage siege engines slowly making their way through and trying to stop any more of the mining 49 over 70 supply right now and the lich and the dark ranger are the only ones who could really do any real damage lich is right here paladin also using up a clarity potion will have enough to try and holy light oh there's a big frost nova onto the paladin to prevent any additional um, mana regeneration as well as the arcane vault does fall new arcane vault may need to be added workshop st still trying to train up another siege engine as we're setting up a third base by thunder Oh, the cheese is smelling good right now as as we're looking at, well, we're finally back up to um, two acolytes trying to mine right here. Obsidian statues now making their way back down. And is the, is the economic halting of the undead army enough? It looks like they're, they were told to shelter in place. Their economy suffered and now, well, their, country, well, their army might be dead here in just a moment. Blood Mage. Paladin looking to back up once more. Blood Mage looking to pick up some items. Potion of Lesser Invulnerability and Invisibility. Oh, there's a Devour Magic as we see a Siphon Mana. Paladin, Blood Mage could be in trouble. There's a Holy Light right there. Rifleman trying to get in some damage as well. Damage coming across. Blood Mage taking in some major, major, um, or dealing some major damage with those Riflemen as the Mountain King is added in as the third unit. All right, Mountain King. Stormbolt is now an option as well. Multiple Guard Towers getting set up into place as the Blood Mage wants to see if what where is that is that a staff of a staff of sanctuary to pick up some items and then perhaps join back in on the fight again uh, he does have a staff of teleportation what could he really be looking for another staff of sanctuary perhaps but there's no arcane vault here D does he realize that there's no arcane vault here yeah, uh, yeah I, I think i think thunder just forgot that there's no arcane vault there's no real reason for him to be staffed back right now rifleman gonna be showing up to the party oh oh belt of giant strength picked up and stolen by the mountain king and, and we're gonna be looking at a beautiful um, accidental steal right there blood mage still wandering around as we're gonna see this one rifleman is he gonna get staffed with sanctuary or get back out or yes no um does not get staffed out blood mage all right i think he's gonna try for this strategy once more has a scroll of town portal just in case does he have a potion of invisibility no he does not he's gonna walk back out again all right back down across here still um gold mines well uh, only a thousand gold loss with all of that or 1500 gold loss i guess that's two and a half minutes of mining but you also have to rebuild the gold mine and retrain up all of those acolytes so that all goes into the cost as well siege engine is it going to fly the unfriendly skies yes it will as it is now going to be dropping is the game going to be raining tanks that is the question blood mage picks up the tome of agility and we are going to be looking at another well play right here sacrificial pit and well there goes the shade 
Jade. Siege Engine drops. Going to get in some damage as well. Blood Mage is here as well. Are we going to see a Flame Strike? Yes, we are. I thought the Flame Strike would have hit right here. Instead, hitting off to the side and going to finish off the Tomb of Relics as well. All right, Mountain King gets a Holy Light here. Still alive for a little bit of time. Meanwhile, the Paladin is in the back. Is the Mountain King? Yes, going to be saved by a Staff of Sanctuary just in time there. Meanwhile, Blood Mage is still here. Let's take a look at this. Another Flame Strike coming through. A big Frost Nova goes down as the Ghouls are now making their way back over. Ghouls trying to chase uh, chase back across a Paladin. Potion of or a Divine Shield being used. Silence onto the Blood Mage. Blood Mage, Scroll of Town Portal. No, Holy Light trying to stay, stick around just a little while longer. Are we going to see a, a Flame Strike or anything right there? No, we are not. Just going to go ahead and teleport out of this bad spot as the Rifleman able to, well, retreat back. All right. If it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. And that's what Thunder is doing, expanding to both this side and this side as well. There is a total of six bases on the map. And currently Thunder has four of them as the Death Knight and the Blood and the Death Knight Lich and Dark Ranger are going to try and make a bit of a play here. These are upgraded towers. It is going to be a little bit of a difficult time. Uh, are they going to try and just run off to the north here? They, are, they see the towers and say, well, maybe I'll just try to clear out an expansion instead. TBCBM time is not on his side. And t I think the cheese just the, it, the cheese just offset and made TBCBM turn his head away for a little bit too long. And that was enough. Goblin Zeppelin. Oh, Goblin Zeppelin dropping in a Blood Mage. If it's worth doing, it's worth doing twice. And that's what you're going to see. In comes the Flame Strike and in comes the damage. Acolytes, are, are they going to end up getting taken down? One Acolyte is taken down there. Dark Ranger, Siphon Mana. Pretty much if you Siphon Mana from the Dark Ranger, it cannot silence you. You're going to end up seeing a Flame Strike right here. Um, are we going to see a flame strike? No, no, no flame strike. There's a flame strike again. And the haunted gold mine could end up getting taken down. Siege engines off on the far side here. Damage is starting to add up. Are we going to end up seeing a, a second flame strike come across here in just a moment? Another flame strike. And then that could be the end. There's a cyclone. Not in time. We're going to see a ziggurat perhaps get taken down. A little bit of damage over time here. One more shot. And there it goes. Picks up the goblin zeppelin. Scroll of town portal. Yes. And there you go. TBCB out of opportunities to mine any gold while well thunder the sound of thunder mining gold in four in three of the four or four of the four, uh, six locations here on last refuge all right um uh, is it that odd that lac asians are lactose intolerant all right the cheese much too strong blood mage first versus undead and it ends up being a wonderful match. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.